All right, so you guys ready for the haul? Um, I definitely kind of went for a bit of a theme today. Um, it seems like that always happens, but I did find um, a few really neat things that I'm excited to show you. And then hopefully I will be able to get them styled and placed around my house to show you how I'm using these thrifted items in my French country vintage decor. So I do have a couple things that are gonna need to be um, painted and given some attention to. So hopefully I can round up enough items to do just a like a thrift flip video for you guys. So stay tuned for that. All right, well, without further ado, let's get into the haul. So here is what I found at Goodwill as well. It's a really sweet frame. It is plastic, it's not wood. It does look like wood, but it really doesn't matter because I am going to paint it anyway. But I just really liked the shape. Um, I'm not sure about the print. It is really sweet, but I think I will probably swap it out or again, do that vintage um, spray paint mirror effect on it. But yeah, I probably will just paint this um, like a nice white once I figure out where to put it. <laughs> but I just had to have it. I thought the oval was so pretty and the shape and everything was really pretty and it was only $3.99. It's this little duck planter. So actually at first I thought that it was wood because it looks so much like wood and I didn't even take time to really feel it. I just grabbed it and put it up at the desk because it was only $8 and he's so cute and I've been loving um, birds and ducks and stuff. Um, my bathroom is usually where I put a lot of ducks so I might put him in there but I need to figure out you know, what to put in the top. But yeah, just love him. So in that same booth, she just had this really cute little stem and it was a dollar and I just thought that that was really cute. So I'll have to pop that in somewhere. Maybe I'll just put that in the duck. <laughs> so I also thought that this duck was really cute and I debated whether or not to get this one instead of the other one. Um, but I just really liked the coloring of the other one and like I said, I really thought it was wood at first and I know how much those wooden duck decoys go for, but that's okay. Maybe if I go back and it's still there, I'll get it again. But I absolutely love this lady's booth. It's definitely my favorite booth in the antique store down the road from my house. Her prices are almost better than thrift store prices. There's so much to look at in here and she just curates everything. So cute. There's a lot to take in, so I usually go slow in this booth so that I don't miss anything because there has been many times where I have ducked really low and had to dig deep to find treasures. And 
that's kind of the picking that I like to do. I like to actually have to work for it a little bit and search for it and then that makes it feel like it's just was meant for you and is that much more special because it was hiding and nobody else thought to look there to find it. And here's the little stem that I just showed you guys in my haul. I just thought it was really cute for only a dollar. At Goodwill, I found something that I've been collecting, that I just started collecting. So I was really excited to find these. Courier and Ives. The old grist mill print. So I already have a few of these plates. Um, I usually pick them up at antique stores. I've never found them at a thrift store. Um, well, except I did find some teacups and that kind of started my collection that at um, Habitat for Humanity. But so now I have four plates and I got these for $3.99. There's some marking on the back. So yeah, I was really excited to find those. It's nice when you actually come across like real vintage at the thrift store. Alright, so the first couple things I'll show you are these vintage books. Um, it's very rare that I go thrifting or antique shopping and I don't find um, at least a couple books. So that's always good because I love decorating with these. So obviously I've been um, collecting a lot of the blues for the French country look that I'm going for. So this one's really sweet. Um, the book of children's Bible stories. I love this color. And then this one just says, wish you were here, but it's in a really nice deep dark blue. Looks like uh, maybe a dog chewed on it or something right there. These old books always have a story to tell. It's always fun to look through them to see if, you know, somebody left a note or money maybe, who knows. Well, I don't have any more footage to show you guys of the items that I actually thrifted um, when I show you in the haul. So I will just kind of show you a few things here that I saw that I thought were really beautiful and I also wanted to let you know to definitely make sure to stay tuned to the end because I'm going to show you some footage on how I styled my thrifted items so you don't want to miss that. little ornate frames they're just plastic but I thought they were really cute and I picked up three of them these will definitely get painted I'll probably just do some chalk paint on them but yeah these are always just fun to have and I also thought that uh, maybe I could create like some little um, vintage looking herbs or flowers or something and just print them off and put them in the frames that would be kind of cute or I could do the mirror spray paint effect to try and make it look like vintage glass. So 50 cents a piece for those. And here are those little frames all painted and I ended up taking pictures of my two kids and then I took the pictures into the Procreate app and I went ahead and created some vintage looking silhouettes and I think they look so sweet in these little frames. I absolutely love how this thrift flip turned out. What do you think? All right, and here's the last thing that I got. And this was the first thing that I saw when I went to the antique store. And it's this beautiful blue and white Afghan throw. I just thought it was so pretty. I've been looking for a blue and white one. I definitely want to start collecting more vintage blankets. So this is just in beautiful condition and it was only $16. So I felt like that was a really good price for something like this.